Dear Rail Lovers, welcome back to Railways Explained. In today's video, we are taking a closer look at the features of incredible Italian high speed trains. But compared to our usual videos of this kind, we're doing it a little differently. Namely, instead of focusing on the development and evolution of HSR trains over time, this time we're going to explore the train sets within the defined services offered by two Italian HSR operators, Trenitalia and Italo. For those of you who are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to Railways Explained and of course check out our previous videos. If you like what you see, help us on our way to reaching 100,000 subscribers and getting the silver YouTube plaque. Now, when you're subscribed to our railway community, let's dive into Trenitalia's high-speed train sets. Trenitalia offers three categories of services. Freccia Rossa, which means red arrow and which is the fastest service offered. Then we have Freccia Argento, which literally signifies the silver arrow for the next category of trains. And finally, Freccia Bianca, which is referred to as the White Arrow. As all of these train categories are designated as Freccia, which is the Italian word for arrow, the high speed trains operated by Tren Italia are labeled as Le Frecce, similar to the TGV in France, ICE in Germany, and AVE in Spain. Freccia Rossa trains operate at speeds up to 300 km per hour. They run mostly on the high-speed lines, representing the premium service of Trenitalia and competing with Italo. The Freccia Rossa service uses Freccia Rossa 1000 and Freccia Rossa ETR 500 trains. The ETR 500 or Eletro Treno Rapido 500 is a high-speed train manufactured by Ansaldo Breda and inaugurated in 1993. It all began during the early 1990s when Italian state railways disclosed plans to establish a new high-speed train network. As a significant portion of the network was already designed for speeds up to 300 km per hour, new non-tilting trains had to be designed since the tilting equipment used in the existing ETR 450, 460 and 480 Pendolino series was inadequate for speeds exceeding 250 km per hour. The new train was to be built by the Treno Veloce Italiano, or the Italian Fast Train Consortium, which was comprised of four different companies. After some time, 30 monocurrent train sets consisting of two motor cars, compatible for existing lines of 3 kV DC, and with 11 coaches, were delivered between 1992 and 1996. Although these trains could operate at 300 km per hour, they were constrained to 250 due to safety. Then the need for new such trains arose, as the new high-speed lines were being constructed, this time for 25 kV 50 Hz AC, to safely facilitate speeds of 300 km per hour. In 2002, an additional 60 multi-voltage motor cars were ordered, and the first delivery of such vehicles was made in 2004. The new trains were designed to operate on both electrification systems, so they were designated as P, standing for Politensione, which translates to multi-voltage. As mentioned, ETR 500 are composed of 11 coaches, and can accommodate 574 seats, separated in several different classes. Coach 1 Executive, Coaches 2, 3 and 4 Business, Coach 5 Business Plus Bistro, Coach 6 Premium, and Coaches 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 are standard service. The other beauty in this category, the ETR 1000, emerged as a collaborative effort between Italian rail manufacturer Ansaldo Breda and Bombardier Transportation. Drawing inspiration from the Bombardier Zefiro, and on Saldo Breda V250 trains, the ETR 1000 underwent modifications to fulfill the Trenitalia tender from 2010. The tender initial specifications were that trains needed to meet the EU HSR technical standards to be capable of a commercial speed of 360 km per hour and also able to operate across seven European countries. 
namely Austria, Belgium, France, Germany, the Netherlands, Spain and Switzerland. Trenitalia, recognizing the capabilities of trains developed by these two companies, placed an order for 50 ETR-1000 train sets, as we said, in 2010. Commercial services commenced in June 2015 with the Freccia Rossa 1000 technical approval in all seven earlier mentioned countries. This strategic move actually enabled Trenitalia to compete in the international high-speed rail market. What's remarkable about the Freccia Rossa 1000 is that it is the first high-speed train to obtain certification for environmental impact. Namely, it can contain less than 28 micrograms of CO2 emissions per passenger kilometer, minimize noise and vibration, and at the same time use construction materials of recyclability close to 100%. Regarding its interior, the Freccia Rossa 1000 coaches boast a color scheme that varies according to its interior. For example, Executive Class or Coach 1 features a dominant brown color scheme, while Business Class housed in Coach 2 is characterized by blue. Coach 3 is designated for Business Plus Bistro, while Coach 4, the Premium Class, utilizes vibrant red color scheme. Finally, Coaches 5 to 8, the Standard Class, boast a vivid orange color scheme. The Freccia Argento represents a high-speed train service that runs on both high-speed and traditional lines, allowing passengers to reach a range of destinations throughout Italy, including Bolzano, Trento, Venice, Verona, Mantua, Genoa, Lecce and Reggio Calabria from Rome, and the Adriatic coast from Milan. The service uses three different types of trains. The ETR-485, ETR-600 and ETR-700. Let's now take a closer look at each of these trains. Starting with the ETR-485. This is a train with a maximum speed of 250 km per hour, which was developed for both HSR and conventional lines, which further means it utilizes the 3 kV DC and 25 kV AC supply systems. ETR-485 are made up of 9 coaches and a total of 489 seats. Now we want to use the opportunity and talk a little about the evolution of this train. The ETR-485 uses tilting technology and belongs to the Pendolino family. Pendolino means small pendulum in Italian, and in case you don't know, these trains possess a mechanism enabling them to tilt whenever going around a curve. The maximum tilt of 8 degrees allows the trains to reach a speed that is up to 35% higher than for conventional trains whilst remaining comfortable for passengers. The Pendolino project has started in 1970s by Fiat Ferroviaria. The first train using technology was the ETR 450, which entered service between Rome and Milan in far 1988. The ETR 450 had its successors. The ETR 460 is a direct development of the ETR 450, characterized by an improved layout, electrical and electronic systems and improved comfort. Maximum speed remained unchanged. The ETR 460 spawned two similar types of pendolinos, the ETR 470 and our ETR 485. ETR 470 can operate on 3 kV DC and 15 kV AC networks, and it was procured by Cisalpino, the subsidiary of Italian and Swiss railways. For years, the ETR 470s were the biggest headache of the Swiss railways due to lots of problems with fires and tilting technology. After many years of service, the Swiss decided to send them for scrap. But five remaining ETR 470s were not sent to the scrapyard, but they are now in operation on the Athens Thessaloniki rail link, the most important Greek route. The Italian state company bought 100% of train OSM, the Greek rail operator, and presented these old and problematic ETR-470 trains as state-of-the-art trains, which were overhauled and adapted to the 25 kV power supply network and fitted with the ETCS traffic management system. Anyway, let's move on to the ETR-600. This train set was introduced in 2006 and labeled by Alstom as a new pendolino. 
Unlike previous trains with motor cars, the new Pendolino has a distributed power supply with systems of 3 kV DC and 25 kV AC, which also means it allows operations on both high-speed sections and the traditional network. ETR 600 are made of up to 7 coaches with a total of 432 seats. Lastly, we have the ETR 700, which has a particularly interesting story. Originally built for the Netherlands NS and Belgian SNCB, which ordered 19 sets back in 2004 for operations between Amsterdam, Brussels and Breda. These trains were designed to operate on both Dutch and Belgian electrified networks with a maximum speed of 250 km per hour. However, they faced delays in production and delivery and significant technical issues. Trains were returned by NS and SNCB to Ansaldo Breda in 2014 after the settlement process. In 2017, Trenitalia purchased all 19 V250 sets and rebranded them as ETR700S after being refurbished. They entered service on the Freccia Argento services on the Adriatic Railway between Milan and Lecce in 2019. The ETR 700 has 8 coaches with a total of 500 seats. The Freccia Bianca trains run on traditional lines outside the high-speed network, connecting medium and large cities across Italy. The Freccia Bianca trains use the ETR 460, which was previously mentioned as a direct successor of the ETR 450. These trains have been in use for almost 30 years, considering that they were put into operation in 1994. However, as with any technology, there comes a time when upgrades are necessary. At the end of 2022, Trenitalia decided to decommission the ETR 460s. Why? Because it's time to upgrade to more modern trains that can provide even better service and meet the evolving needs of passengers. Since the rolling stock is still technically valid, the 9 trains have been put up for sale. Operating at speeds up to 300 km per hour, Italo trains connect the largest cities and offer an interesting alternative to the Freccia Rossa high-speed trains of state operator Trenitalia. Italo was the first operator in the world to utilize the Alstom's AGV trains. Unlike the TGV, which was developed in collaboration between Alstom and SNCF, the AGV was developed entirely at Alstom's cost. The train can operate under all four European electrification systems, with a top speed specified for each system. In 2008, Italo ordered 25 11 coached AGV trains with a capacity of 460 seats in the amount of 650 million euros with an option for 10 more train sets. 17 trains were to be built at Alstom's La Rochelle plant and the remaining 8 at Alstom's plant in Savigliano in Italy. An additional contract for maintenance of the trains over a 30-year period involved the construction of a maintenance depot at Nola near Napoli. To expand its fleet and services, Italo announced the procurement of 12 additional trains classified as ETR 765 in 2015. These additional units would be from Alstom Savelia Pendolino family, equivalent to the Trenitalia ETR 600. As of October 2019, NTV operates a fleet of 25 AGVs and 26 non-tilting Pendolinos. We hope you enjoyed closer look at the HSR trains operating in Italy on Rallys Explained. As we've seen, both operators use world-class services and amenities, making traveling by train in Italy a truly luxurious experience. From Trenitalia's Freccia Rossa and Freccia Argento trains to Italo's sleek and stylish AGV trains, there's something for everyone. We hope you've learned something new today and we can't wait to bring you more exciting rally stories in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video.